Hangout is a super awesome reference manager that is recommended for researchers. Stick around, let me show you how to use EndNote to your advantage. Hi, I'm Abdul Hakim, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick start overview for using EndNote 20 on Windows. We'll quickly cover the EndNote graphical user interface, how to create an EndNote library, how to add a reference to EndNote manually, how to search the web with EndNote, how to insert a citation into a Word document, and lots more. Now, if this sounds interesting to you, let's do this, shall we? Many researchers find referencing difficult, um, from not understanding why they should reference to not even knowing how. Well, for a start, to avoid taking one's work and claiming it for yourself when you're writing or saying anything, the best practice is to recognize the source you got that idea from. And this is called referencing. All right. There are thousands of ways to reference any material or document. Some ways are even easier than others. Okay. And a referencing manager like um, EndNote can help you to take care of all the hassles that are there with referencing. So you can focus on other important parts of your research writing. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to install EndNote to see whether it's good for you, then check out my quick video here on how to install and set up EndNote for free. All right, so let's start with the EndNote graphical user interface. The topmost part is called the title bar. All right, here you will see the name of the software, its version, as well as the name of the library that is currently open. All right. Next is the menu bar. All right. Um, here you have several items that you can use for managing your references and they are grouped into tabs with menu items arranged in a drop down fashion. OK. On the left hand side is the library pane. Here you have different tabs that help you to organize your current library. And finally, on this space where I'm standing is the canvas. OK. It displays whichever section that is selected on the library panel, as you can see. Easy peasy, right? So when we click on all references, for example, all the references in the library will be displayed on the canvas here. Okay. Now let's go into action using EndNote. To use EndNote, you need to start by creating a library. Well, what is this library in the first place? When you hear the word library, what first comes to your mind? All right. A place where many books are kept, right? Okay. Well, since EndNote is a reference manager, an EndNote library is a collection of references, all right? And each reference is stored as an individual record with different fields. And in these fields, you can add and enter the important things that are used for referencing, such as the author name, the title, the page, and lots more. Now with EndNote, it is recommended for you to store all your references in one single library. So don't go around creating multiple libraries. And if you want to organize your references within the library, then you can use the groups feature to organize and categorize them in any way that you want. All right, so let's click on file. All right, and then new, okay? And let's write the name of our library. Okay, by default, you will see the name my EndNote library and you can leave it or change it to something more specific. But I think it's better to leave it and just click okay. All right, now we're in the library that we have created. All right, but hmm, something is wrong. I wonder what it is. Oh, oh yes. There are no references at all, not even a single one. It's just like having a big library without any books in it, okay? That's not cool. Fun fact, the world's largest library is the Library of Congress. It was founded in 1800 with 164 million items and 1,350 kilometers of bookshelves, all right? Amazing, isn't it? Alrighty, so let's put in a reference. There are many ways in which you can enter references into a note, all right? You can either enter it manually, all right, or automatically. All right, here's how to easily enter references manually into EndNote. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will start by showing you the manual method, okay? So you can easily understand how this software works and how it thinks, okay? So let's assume we are writing our thesis on prevalence of neonatal sepsis in Nigeria, all right? and we searched the internet and found this journal article. Now, we took some information from this article and included it in our write-up. Okay, so we are going to need to reference this document, right? Now, instead of putting this reference manually um, into the Microsoft Word document, which can be very, very time consuming and even confusing, because most of us don't even know how to format references properly, all right? I'm sure by now you know that there are hundreds, if not thousands of referencing styles. Okay. So we start by entering this reference into our library on EndNote. And then any time in which we need to quote or cite it in any part of our work or other works, we can just insert it with a simple click of a button. 
and EndNote will arrange it for us. All right, so we click on all references in the library panel and you can see that there is a toolbar, all right, that has very cool functions lined up um, over there, right? Uh, so we have this icon for inserting citations. The next is for adding new references, then sharing and exporting as well as searching the web. All right, so we'll just be clicking on the second one um, to add a new reference um, to the library, okay? All right, so we click on it and then we have this beautiful dialog box that comes up. It lets you enter the information that is needed for any kind of reference. And this is interesting because what the software is doing is simply just ingenious. It allows you to put in all the fields and any time in which you require a particular referencing style out of the thousands of referencing styles, it automatically arranges it for you in any way you want it. Just super awesome, all right? So here we first need to select the reference type and you can see there are a lot of document types that you can reference from an aggregated database to an Asian text or even a book or look, even a conference, all right? Uh, uh, and those of you that like to quote um, the Federal Ministry of Health or the NCDC, that's the government document there. All right, but for this document, we know um, what we have is a journal article, all right? So we'll just select a journal article. Now, the next is the author's names. Let's look at the authors for uh, this journal paper. Okay, there are six authors, right? Okay. Oh, this first author's name looks and sounds uh, familiar. <laughs> okay, so um, we put the authors. Now, now listen very carefully. The way EndNote wants you to put each author is very, very specific. You have to put the surname first, then put a comma, and then a space, and then the first name, and then a space, all right? So for this one, we'll be writing Olor Koba, then a comma, and then a space. Then Abdul Hakim, that's the first name, and then a space, and then finally um, the middle name, okay? Now let's put in the second author. Uh, um, for you to do that, you need to go to the next line. Each author has to be on a separate line, okay? So I'll just quickly put up all the authors very quickly. Williams, Professor MS Ibrahim, uh, Jibril Bashar, Lawal Amadou, Bola Lawal. These are great scholars, big scholars, all right? Remember each author per line. Then we go to the year. This was published in 2020, all right? Let's check the title again. Uh, we'll just copy it and then paste it there. Uh, which journal is this? Let's check. Yes, it's the Nigerian Medical Journal, okay? Um, it doesn't have any supplement, so we'll just leave this blank. And the next is the volume, and I think it is 61. All right. Uh, the issue is two, and the pages is 60 to 66. These are the main elements for referencing a journal article. But you can look, um, if you have any other information that you can find, you can put it there. And when you're done entering the um, available information, you just click on save, and boom, okay? You have your reference in the library, all right? Notice that our library has only one reference now and you will see the references having number one and also the recently added also has number one and you can see that all the stuff that we added are in a single row super awesome right now we have been able to successfully enter one reference into our library and we can enter as many as possible okie dokie added choki um, now let's go and oh shoot i wanted to add the pubmed central id on this article oh no oh no what what will i do now i've already saved and it won't close the reference oh well no worries endnote has got you covered okay um if you check to the right okay check to the right side here you will see a new pane that has popped up um, after we finished entering the references and we saved this is called the summary pane and it has loads of amazing features okay we can use the edit function there and make any kind of corrections um, to the references that we have entered. So I will just enter the PubMed ID and nice. And I can even enter the date um, of publication also. Awesome, right? And then we click on save. And then we're good to go. Okie dokie, Adichoki. Now, let me quickly show you one super amazing feature of EndNote. Now, if you look up there, right, you will see this blank um, space, right? It means there are no attachments to this single reference that we have. Now, if you have the PDF of the article, 
or you have any document that you want to be linked to this reference you can just attach it all right but there's a problem there's a big problem okay we don't have any pdfs for this article and we desire to have a pdf hmm what do we do well don't worry a note has got you covered okay so you only need to just select the reference and click on this amazing button over there all right and it will automatically search the world wide web for you and bring out the pdf for you super awesome right now you can see that within a split second we now have the pdf automatically wow this is great just check this out endnote retrieved this pdf from where, wherever it was on the internet downloaded it to my computer and attached it to the reference all under one second this is superb all right this is just just superb now let's go ahead and uh, check the summary pane okay and click the pdf tab up there and you can see the whole pdf uh, document okay and you can do whatever you want to do with this uh, pdf document this is simply just uh, fantastic okay now let me show you a much easier way of even entering references into your library enter the online search functionality of endnote so endnote can help you quickly search through millions of articles online and allow you to save them as references in your library okay so if you look at the uh, library pane all right just below the groups you will see online search all right there are so many online libraries or databases that you can search from now let's pick um, one of the best which is pubmed all right and it is from the national library of uh, medicine the national library of medicine which we um, abbreviate as nlm is on the campus of the national institutes of health in bethesda maryland united states okay and it has been a center of information innovation since it was founded in 1836 super huge mega database of biomedical information all right now you see this new um, interface that has uh, shown that we've connected endnote directly to the national library of medicine database simply amazing okay now all i need to do is to um, search all right so let me search for articles written by this guy <laughs> so up there i'll just write the author's name and hit on search and boom all right within a second we have all the articles all right wow this is just amazing so let me look i think i like this one okay so i'll keep it and uh this other one uh and i'm happy with this two that i have uh, selected so i'm just going to click on the plus button over here and it's automatically in my library all right so um if i check uh my references uh, you can see that i've had added them already easy peasy all right life cannot be easier than this just just easy all right um, so now we have three references in our reference awesome right and so enough of all this gathering of references now let's put this to use how do we use these references enter the endnote site while you write now endnote works seamlessly with a lot of other software that we use daily one of such software is microsoft word after installing endnote you need to check all right you will see that it automatically adds the site while you write plugin on um, your word software so you see it on uh, the menu bar uh, there all right you can see several functions of endnote embedded within the word software all right and we know that most people use microsoft word for all their writing tasks right now do you remember our thesis that we're working on we were writing initially all right prevalence of neonatal sepsis right okay um, so we just started it and we're just in the introduction section all right and we have a subsection titled neonatal sepsis in nigeria we have now written just a few lines now some of us have a very bad habit of writing many pages first uh, with the plan to later come back and put in appropriate references for our work man this is counterproductive and it has the tendency to waste your time slow you down and you can even forget where you got some of those things from all right and if you don't reference properly you know what it means right plagiarism yes plagiarism please don't fall into that trap please all right in order to avoid this endnote allows you to cite while you write okay awesome right so we have added um, some ideas from that article and we have 
it in our EndNote library. And I just want to insert that citation. How do I do this? Well, it's super easy. Let me show you. So you put your cursor on the place where you want to insert the citation. Then you go to the EndNote tab on the Microsoft um, Word menu bar. And then we click on go to EndNote. This takes us back to EndNote um, to select the references uh, we want to put there. Now, after selecting that reference, then all we need to do is to click on insert citation over up there, right? And boom. So we have our in-text citation um, there automatically. And look, it has even added a reference list for us at the bottom, all right, of the document. Awesome. Super awesome. Um, so we can see that tiny number one there in, in superscript, okay, meaning that's the first reference. And um, so I will just put a heading uh, for this as references, all right? And I know that all other references will be populated under this uh, moving forward. So life just got easier, guys. All right. Oh, shoot. I forgot to also cite the document that I used in the first paragraph. Oh, my God. Oh, no. What will I do now, man? And if I put the reference before this one, then uh, that reference will need to be number one. And then I have to change this one to two. This is a big problem. So what do I do? <laughs> well, don't worry, guys. EndNote has got you covered. All right. So let's add the new citation and see what happens. Okay. So we go to EndNote again. All right. And we select uh, this one with uh, Prof. MS Ibrahim. And then we hit on insert. And look how amazing EndNote is. It has automatically taken care of business. It has changed the numbers. This one is now number one. And the other one is number two. Look, look, it has even gone to the reference list and it has put it correctly. So we don't need to worry about changing one reference or moving it around. This is super awesome. Okay. All right. Okie dokie, Adichoki. So now that you have seen the power of EndNote, and how it can make you do your references without any stress. You are set to go and save the world, guys. Go and save the world with your research without stressing on referencing and the rest. So in this video, we have covered how to create and set up an EndNote library, all right? How to enter references manually and automatically into EndNote, all right? How to get PDFs of articles online and how to insert a citation into Microsoft Word uh, document. All right. Now, if you have gained value in this video and you want to see more videos like this in future, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed already. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you'll be notified of my future videos. In my next video, God willing, I am going to show you the various ways in which you can use EndNote to make your research easier and successful. But until then, peace.